I never knew that I could love someone the way that I love you. I never knew. Bob Baker here. I'm on the Santa Monica Pier in, of course, Santa Monica, California. And I'm standing here with Terry Prince. Correct. How are you, Ter Terry? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing great. Right. We just uh, had, had to stop because we, we passed by. We walked earlier right by here, and we're really drawn into the sound of your voice and your in your in your songs. Just you and a piano here. Now tell me, you've got a CD that you um, have available that you yes. sell here. Imagine right? Love. And how long has that been out? That's been out for a year and a half. A year and yes. a half. Now tell me, how many CDs have you sold just by playing here? Out here on the pier, I have moved over 15,000 CDs. 15,000 CDs. Playing three hours a day, mm -hmm. two weeks out of each month. Wow, so how many days a week would you do that? I play like five days a week. So it's like basically yeah. 10, like days 10 days a yes. month, a month, three hours a, a day. That's 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 actually like a part-time job, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah very part-time. 15,000 <laughs> CDs, that's amazing. Now, um, a lot of musicians would probably maybe poo-poo the idea or frown on, you know, sitting on a pier like this, a tourist area, but you have a different perspective on that, right? Certainly, well, you know, I have the thought process that, you know, you go where the people are. And, you know, at years of doing different type of gigs and having to send up invites and all right. of that, you know, I show up, there are venues, there are places where you can go and you can play as an artist, and there's tourists and there's already people there. It's a great gift to be able to go to a place and just show up and play your music right. and move 15,000 units. Wow, that, that's, <laughs> not, that's, not, that's not bad. Now, I've, I've, uh, I've done like, this is like basically a form of busking, right? Is yes, they, our, call, our, they call it they call it busking out here. They call it street performing. Street performing. Yeah, and all you have to do, you have to get a permit. From yeah, the, you get a right. permit from the city. It's forty dollars for the permit for the year. For the year, okay. And that's for the whole city of Santa Monica. A big investment. Oh, yeah, <laughs> $40 for yeah. The whole year. It's great, and you know, and you can play as often as you want, as long as you want. And it's it's a great gift. So the money that you make it comes from CD sales, and then of course you got a bucket out there yeah. where, where you yeah. collect CD tips sales too. and tips. But the majority of it comes from you know from CD sales and also gigs to you know perform for people. So you know it's a it's a great it's a great venue. Now I I preach a lot about target marketing how can't be all things to all people and so I encourage musicians to define who they are as an artist and to define where their audience who their audience is and, and go to those places where the audience hangs out this is a little bit different approach because you don't there's not a targeted type of fan or, 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 or consumer that comes here it's Correct. all over the map so you're so you're basically coming to a place where there's just a lot of people and as long as you're connecting with I don't know one out of ten or right, how, what's, right. what's the percentage do you, you know think? you know I have no idea but you know what though I operate from the idea set the table and the hungry will eat Go out, do what you do, you know, and whatever it is that you do, there are going to be those who it's going to resonate with. Right. But our job as an artist, especially in today's world, is to show up. Right. To show up and to do what you do and don't have your thought process on who's going to receive it. Know that there's going to be an audience there for you because there are seven billion people in the world <laughs> right. and there's an audience for that is thirsty for what you have to offer. Right, and, and, and even even with that, you still don't have to appeal to everyone. No, it's, it's you're, not okay. go, you're not going to. You know, I tell all my friends, I go, you know what? Think of the Spice Girls. They sold 100 million albums. I don't have one of them. <laughs> Right. And you probably don't have one I have of them not either. One at all. So, so what does that tell us? Right. You know, and so we have to really have that mindset that you know you're not going. To, no one appeals to everyone, but you will appeal to those who are meant to show up right. and to support you on your journey. You got a great attitude about this. There's a certain amount of trust, like trust in yourself as an artist, and that, and a trust that the audience will show up. Certainly, you know. certainly. Well, you know, I believe in what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and I believe in my music. And I know that the universe would never give me a desire without that desire being able to be fulfilled. Wow. And my job is to just show up and to take it out there and to trust that. And right. to trust that. You know, it's like planting a seed in the ground. We plant a seed, we have no idea if it's going to grow or not. But we water it and we have faith and we trust in that. And then boom, there it comes out of the ground. That's how it is with music, whatever our purpose is in life, right. is to plant that seed and to watch it grow, because it will. That's fantastic. Well, Terry, it was a pleasure Thank me, you so me, much. Me, you you're an inspiration, well. so are and you. you're a damn talented singer and songwriter, too. Thank you too. so much. So, Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a great day. La, da, 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 da,